In Pennsylvania, since agriculture is our number one industry, it's a tremendous advantage to have a homegrown system where our veterinary school at the University of Pennsylvania, we work very well with the, the Pennsylvania State University that has an agricultural school, and we provide new knowledge, we provide direct outreach, we train all the veterinarians, uh, virtually all the veterinarians who practice in Pennsylvania, and we're able to support uh, dairy, which is the number one segment of our number one industry, and maintain health and, uh, in the farmers as well as in the animals. So it's a tremendous advantage to actually have the ability to generate new knowledge, new tests. We have a very active program in stem cell research. We have one of the uh, founding scientists who founded the entire field that is now stem cell research. Ralph Brinster in our school is the only veterinarian ever to win the National Medal of Science just this year. Um, and the kind of work that we do, because we have such deep knowledge of biology, um, really goes across all species and it can, can uh, elevate the quality of life for everyone. Ralph Brinster had, was the first person to figure out how to keep mammalian egg cells alive outside of a, of, of a body. Um, and that fundamental discovery actually led to the ability to do in vitro fertilization. And then in the recent decades, understanding stem cells and this amazing ability that everyone is aware of, that stem cells can develop into any kind of cell type in the body. He's continued every decade of his five decades now of active research to make really fundamental discoveries. When, when Dr. Brinster started, his goal, and he's been very generous in saying this in any interview, his goal was to really help the farmer. His agricultural background and his veterinary training, he firmly believes is what gave him the ability to make these advances. And his interest was to make reproduction more efficient and kind of more controllable for agricultural purposes. But when you understand how to um, optimize fertilization and development for a mouse or a dog or a goat, it's all relevant to people as well. Um, and his initial discoveries set the stage for in vitro fertilization. His most recent publications have shown that it's possible to allow boys who've gone through chemotherapy for, for testicular cancer to then reproduce.